Today, I'd like to make a short presentation about our award-winning work, Sony City Osaki and its bioskin. The Sony City Osaki is a research and development-oriented office building for Sony Corporation. And the bioskin is its facade system which cools down the building itself and its circumstance using the heat of evaporation of the rainwater. A few years ago, Sony decided to gather their main researchers in one research center and uh, wanted to build a facility for them next to their planned offices, office building and held a design competition. And we were the one with the <coughs> entrance of the competition. As part of the requirement, other competitors seemed to design separated building for each function. But our scheme was to make a R&D function and a office function into one building to increase ad hoc chances to come across the researchers and other workers. Because we strongly believe that uh, such a coincidental communication, coincidental communication was really very important to breed an innovative atmosphere in a company. This idea seemed to be very, be very impressive for Sony guy maybe. <laughs> and they selected us as a, an architect for this project. In our proposal, we also propose, uh, proposed an innovative energy-free facade cooling system named Bioskin using the handrails of the balcony. The Bioskin is an, uh, an environmental system working to reduce so-called heat island phenomenon but it is not a standalone system, but based on a mixture of flowing four-way usage of the facade itself. The first usage of the facade is to make, the, to make the building safe and secure. As we aim to attain a high level of safety and security, we suggest the um, client to employ balconies almost over, all over the facade of the Sony City Osaki. After 911 disaster, I'm sorry, and I started to design buildings having balconies. This work is one of the early examples of this. In this work, I aim to revive the usage of lumber in urban big scale building. After long and hard effort, we succeed to get the permission from the concerned government ministries, even though we used flammable lumber. But as an architect, I felt only a permission was not enough. And I decided to employ balconies on this facade as a safety escape route in case of fire, and tried to use them to make a characteristic but a very safe facade. At the same time, the balcony added, uh, added sculptural depths on the facade and cut the strong sunshine from the west side effectively. This is another example employing the, employing the balcony as a safety escape route. This is a standard floor plan of the Sony City Osaki and the facility, uh, furniture layout is uh, for restaurant usage, which I can say is the most dangerous floor in this project. Usually and intuitively experience of existing Existence of the balconies are recognized to improve the safety and of the building. But in the Sony City Osaki case, we use a lot of computer simulation of human behavior like this, and using a BIM model for design work to confirm how the balconies work in case of fire. With the help of the computer simulations, we could convince the meaning of them and made the client understood, understand good point of employing the balconies. The second usage of the facade is to place the columns and get rid of the, all the columns from the workplaces. Usually we uh, tend to call a rectangular workplace universal space, even though it has some columns inside. But in Sony case, we succeed to get rid uh, succeed to realize a real perfect universal workplace without any columns. As this plan shows, originally the columns were allocated in the workplaces, but with the help of the existence of the balconies running around the workplaces, we could push the columns out 
out to the balconies like this. This is a workplace of the Sony city of Ozaki. As this photo shows clearly, the perf perfect universal workplace has been realized inside. The third usage of the facade, this is the main topic of my presentation today, is to reduce so-called heat island phenomenon. During the last 100 years, Tokyo's temperature has gained more than three degrees Celsius. You may think the main reason why it has been caused is a global warming phenomenon. But actually, it has pushed up Tokyo's temperature only about 0.6 degrees Celsius in the last 100 years. So what is the main reason pushing up the temperature of the Tokyo more than two degrees Celsius? The answer is the heat island phenomenon. As this photo shows, Tokyo has been affected by the heat island phenomenon and gained its temperature about two degrees Celsius. The main factor causing the heat island phenomenon is said, the concrete masses like uh, buildings on, and uh, road or such kind of thing, facade and, and uh, like a building facade, like absorbing the energy in daytime and uh, radiate it towards the air in nighttime. So today, we can say we should invent facades to reduce the heat island phenomenon. The fourth usage of the facade is to release the rainwater into the air again. As you know, in Japan and some other Asian countries, we have a lot of rain during lot of rain during the hot season. I mean summer. On the other hand, generally, sewage water system in urban districts of the Asian cities are quite poor. So in rainy days, we must keep rainwater in preserved tanks in foundations and pump them up in sunny days. It means that we throw away important natural resource, I mean rain and uh, rainwater, and by using the electricity, you, I mean energy. It, it is just a waste of the water and the energy. I want to say now, it is an error that we have to find more wise and smart usage of rainwater. So we need to invent a brand new facade system that we can use it as a safety escape route. As a, at the same time, it can cool down the facade itself by using the uh, preserved rainwater. As a small, smart solution, we found an idea to use the hand rays of the balcony as a radiator to cool down the facade and the environment. If we could use the preserved rainwater effectively, we could cool down the f uh, whole facade like uh, leaves of trees. Our first idea was such a very, really intuitive one. Anyway, we decided to persuade this biomimic system and name it BioSkin. But to optimize the BioSkin, the effective usage of rainwater was crucial. One way to use it to is to run the run from all the habits of Japan and the Asian countries. Key word is uh, heat of evaporation. As I said, we Asian countries have a very rich rainfall in summer. Also, we have so many customs to cool down the environment, through environment use, using the rainwater effectively. For example, in Japan, like this photo shows, we have a custom to sprinkle the rainwater in sunny day to cool down the environment because it gets rid of large amount of the heat when the sprinkled water evaporates. It actually works very much. In the se uh, some southern Asian countries, to cool down the drinkable water, people use the ceramic pot like this pot shows. Once drinkable water is poured into the pot and uh, the water start to penetrate the surface of the ceramic, po ceramic pot and appear on the surface of it, and it start to evaporate. During this simple process, the heat of evaporation get rid, get rid of the large amount of the heat from the pot and the water inside, and the, they become cooled down. As an idea come, came out, it was 
an idea, cooling down the handrails using the heat of evaporation of the preserved rainwater without any energy. If we make the handrail with the ceramic pipes and the preserved rainwater flows in them in sunny day, the rainwater will be, will be absorbed by ceramic pipes and appears on the surface of them and start to evaporate. In this process, the heat of evaporation will, will get rid of the large amount of the heat of the facade. To confirm this idea, we made a small one meter by one meter mock-up and measured the temperature with it. And we realized the surface of the temperature went down more than 10 degrees Celsius in a sunny day. In addition to that, the air around the pipes also went down around the three degrees Celsius only with rainwater, as this post shows. The next question was, what would happen if this phenomenon happened in a, in a large scale, 100 meter one by 100 meter size of the facade? To estimate it, we use the computer simulation. We input the data from the mock-up to the computer simulation program. This movie was made using the result of the computer simulation using the beam. As soon as you see this, you can understand how it works. Yellow dot is, means 35 degrees Celsius. It cooled down by the works of working of the uh, bio scheme. The result was amazing. The computer simulation shows this based on primitive phenomenon system had a, had a possibility to cool down the surroundings of the building about two degrees Celsius. Some people say may, it is merely two degrees, but if you remember the fact the heat island phenomenon has pushed up the temperature of the Tokyo around two degrees Celsius in the last hundred years, you cannot neglect these two degrees. This was a moment of the bio, birth of bioskin. To realize the bioskin, we employed the beam completely so we could confirm the detail of this complex system carefully through the computer graphics like this generated from the beam. Usually, facade manufacturing maker, manufacturer, um, good at to get rid of the water from their product. But in the bioskin, we must take the rainwater into the facade and handling, handle it with the ceramic pipes. The combination of the water and the ceramic bring me uh, one great, brought me one great idea. The most uh, suitable manufacturer to make this system might be the toilet bowl makers. So I asked the Toto, a Japanese famous toilet bowl manufacturer like American Standard here, and they said, yes, we can. And they start the collaboration to realize it. This model was generated by the 3D printer using the same BIM model. This is a real photo of the bioskin. This is general view of the bioskin from the inside and outside the balcony. Evaluation after completion is uh, also very, very important when you use the computer simulations. The photos were taken by the thermal camera and shows how effectively the bio scheme worked. In this case, to make the difference clearly, only the blue part were activated with the rainwater. This, this shows the temperature of the activated part went down more than five degrees to 10 degrees Celsius only with rainwater. In this photo shows, um, you can see how this brand new ecosystem works. We succeeded to make a cool spot without any energy in this project. As you can you see here, the bioski is a very effective system, but at the same time, it is very sensitive. It means that we don't want to make it as a generic environmental project, separated from the architectural consideration on each project uniqueness. But the bioski is a kind of the algorithm to be adaptable to every architectural project only if you pay attention to the uniqueness of each project. 
This is the west side of the elevation of the sunny city of Osaki. To avoid the strong, strong and horizontal sunshine from the west side, all the windows have vertical slit-like slit -like shape like this, and they worked as a vertical eaves to cut strong sunshine, strong direct sunshine from the west side. This is the entrance gate. The design may look so futuristic, but actually it was a result from the human behavior. To increase the capacity flow of the people and the product going to and back the corridors, all the corners are rounded. And the materials used here came from kitchen. It means the design and the material here are very much durable and easy to clean. Now I'm getting back to the outside and the Sony uh, bioskin. The, this shot shows how you can see the bioskin from the eye level. The facade itself is very big, but the element composing the big facade are human scale, sensitive, delicate, and have their own meanings, not of ornament. As this photo shows, this biomimic facade cooling system, the bioskin, has a new aesthetic similar to leaves of trees. The both of them don't have a strong power to change the environment in a day, but have a possibility to change the environment into the desirable direction gradually. I want to say that we don't invent the bioskin as an easy, eco-friendly product, which we can apply to any buildings automatically. But I want to show the concept of the bioskin as a kind of algorithm to use the heat of evaporation according to the uniqueness of each architecture project. This is the end of the presentation of the bioskin and the Sony City Osaki. Thank you very much for your attention.